don't worry guys, I did get back out, as you can see. Um, so just thought I would share the, the tour I had to the Crumlin Road Jail. Um, you know I, I like old architecture, old stonework. Um, I appreciate the hard work and the skill that has went into certain buildings and old buildings especially. Um, I definitely was very fascinated in the steelwork here. Um, in my opinion, a genius has made the steel and fitted it. Definitely knew what he was doing. Um, the architects of the steel also did the likes of uh, the Queen's University. Um, I think he did the courtyard that's across the road, um, the courts, um, and a few other buildings. can't remember exactly what they were now, but obviously high-level architect doing such large buildings. And that room, that cell, would have been used by a prison guard, which they say that the difference between a prison guard and a prisoner is that the prison guard gets to go home. And if you look around this small, cold, dark cell, it's not somewhere you'd want to be called home. Um, probably was a lot more damp 100, 150 years ago. I would have thought so. And you can see how small it really is. You can almost touch each wall if you just stretch your hands out. Hardly enough room for a mattress. And this lady would have been working for free in the jail, just for her food. And this is one of the kitchens where the food would be made. And if she didn't do enough work, or the prisoners, any of the prisoners didn't do enough work back then, they wouldn't have got any food. So, this wee wall, somebody's beat me to it, and I already repaired it. So I've lost out on a job here. But, as you can see, there's plenty of room, so plenty of opportunity for more work. But no, you can see the scale of this job, and you see that big watchtower there. Well, it looks like a chimney, but to me it must be a watchtower because it's it's perfect in the middle. It's got a, all the view of every single wall of the outskirts of the jail. Um, so to me it was a watchtower. There's another watchtower in that corner, and I don't think many people could claim that wall. And again, another we look at the stonemasons. Fantastic work here. Um, here is one of the most famous parts of the deal, which is the tunnel. And behind that steel door would have been the courthouse. So you would have went straight from court and you would have walked under this tunnel and then the jail. And above this tunnel is the common road, which is a very, very heavy, heavy traffic road. There's quite a lot of traffic on it. And um, believe it or not, being in the tunnel, you wouldn't think that there was buses and cars, lorries driving above you. And you can see the creepy ceiling. And they do say that this tunnel is the most haunted part of the whole jail. And they do say that the jail is one of the most haunted buildings in Belfast. So it's another tour you could do. Um, you could, I think you can spend the night on a par paranormal I'm not sure and there you go there's the governor's list of all the governors and all the dates all their names and all the dates when they would have governed the jail um, but yeah back to the, the, the tour I, I thought this tour was interesting and it was definitely worth the money yeah, it was worth the trip so if you were about Belfast and you want something to do this could certainly keep you going for an hour or two it's also a cafe and a restaurant in the jail, um, which not many people will be able to say that they had their dinner in jail and got home the same day. So it could be one for you, but yeah, it's, it's a big enough jail and you can see how dark it can be without any lights here in this wing. It's made up of wing A, wing B, wing C and wing D, four wings total. Um, but yeah, the paranormal tour would probably be good. Might actually do it sometime myself. Um, if anybody wants to see it, and there's, there's, I think that's a cracking view 
of all the cells, a bit of darkness. Again, this is sort of the, the, the four points, if, if you like. That's all the, the cells. You can see all the metal work that's in it. Um, for a deal, it actually kind of looks good. There's a wee bit of look to it. But yeah, if anybody wants, I may do the paranormal tour and make a couple of videos of that. Uh, but thanks for watching, guys. I hope you liked like this. We share.